Yes, indeed, the hype is real. And here to share what we can expect, as well as give some helpful tips to leveraging Microsoft Mesh, please welcome Microsoft Director of Product for HoloLens, Computer Vision Services, and of course, Microsoft Mesh, Simon Skaria. Simon, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Oh, very well, Olivier. This is a, a great morning to be joining in this, in this excellent community. Uh, for those who are based in the US and for those who are all over the world, uh, we wish you great afternoons and great evening wherever you are. Fantastic. So Simon, I just, I just actually named your title uh, and the technology that you cover, but tell me more about yourself, what your team is doing, uh, and then we'll talk about Microsoft Mesh. It's uh, much easier to talk about what my team is doing. Uh, so we uh, just started this journey of mixed reality, uh, you know, just uh, following the lineology of Microsoft Kinect. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a great uh, revolution in input devices uh, that completely changed the paradigm of Xbox. And that, that uh, heritage and that legacy continued forward into mixed reality. Um, and our team is all about building experiences that blends the physical and the digital world. Um, and I am humbled to be part of that small team that actually pushes the technology forward, giving computers the great sense of vision and giving people uh, experiences that are unlocked from our screens into those those are you know reliant on spaces. And so that you actually have that human capability to naturally visualize information wherever they are. And because we like to empower people and developer, in our case for Microsoft Build these days, um, there's something called Mesh, Microsoft Mesh that your team has been working on. Um, if yeah. for those who have not had the chance yet to dive into the documentation and information around it, can you tell us at a high level, what is Microsoft Mesh about? Microsoft Mesh for end users is a platform that delivers three value propositions, right? It delivers true presence uh, that gives us agency to represent ourselves from you know, representative avatars to photorealistic horopotation in a world where we are fundamentally switching to a hybrid base of work and life, as you know, Satya mentioned in his, in his blog and in his keynote. The second value proposition of Microsoft Mesh is creating together um, the ability for us to be able to participate in the creation process regardless of whether you are in the same space, in a different space at the same time or in a different time. And transcending that space and time in the creation process is the second value proposition. And then third, we absolutely want to have an inclusive experience, whether you are in AR devices, augmented reality devices, VR devices, whether you are in 2D devices, 3D devices, devices that Microsoft make, whether devices that's made by Others, we want to make sure that Microsoft Mesh delivers inclusive experiences on the devices that you have, differentiated experiences on the highest watermark devices that we make. So Microsoft Mesh for its users is all about three things. We want to ensure we deliver you true presence. We give you the capability to create together wherever you are. And most importantly, we want you to be able to do that with the devices that you have. I love it. And so since the announcement of Microsoft Mesh, there's been lots of buzz around it. It really looked like science fiction, right? And so I'm curious to know, what was the reception? Uh, how did customer, you know, once they realized it was reality, that they could actually implement solutions uh, that were like in the movies, uh, what, how did they react? What kind of use cases did they start coming up to you with? Well, guys, uh, as Harry says, you know, technology is all about democratizing it so that we actually turn this from science fiction to science fact to something that actually blends into everyday fabric of our life, right? So that's all that technology is about. So my my goal is to get to the next uh, interview of this kind of movie and say, you say that, wow, it has now become a part of our everyday fabric. Uh, with respect to the reception, um, it has been absolutely humbling. Uh, it is by far the most... Uh, uh, well-received uh, product launch that we have done to date. Um, Alex Kipman, uh, our leader for Mixed Reality, introduced a number of our partners and they are relentlessly driving forward that experiences from, you know, Hanai World, which is taking that experiences to tell everyday stories in a different way. Allspace VR, which is our own studio, 
uh, which has taken a very, very interesting perspective on enabling everyday concerts. These days, pretty much every weekend, there is a concert up here uh, from Ocean Explorer uh, for enabling this experience to have the you know, modern day experiences to understand the marine life. It's uh, it's absolutely impressive. Uh, and then on the on the commercial side, uh, Sakhi actually mentioned in this in this uh, blog about hybrid world, uh, the end floor experience that uh, Accenture is partnering forward. It is truly a future of how we think new employee onboarding is going to work. So work from enterprise ISVs to consumer metaverses. Work from you know, everyday applications to Accenture like uh, ISVs, both building it for their internal solutions as well as for their, you know, third party practices is an absolutely stunning reception. I can't take this to public preview uh, sometime soon. Uh, well, actually, now you're mentioning that, you're going to have to tell us if you have a, a rough idea of when we should expect it to be available. Because now we have like people excited. They have all these fantastic scenarios that they yeah. want to implement it with. So when? Yeah, so Olivia, that's a that's a great question, and I, I kind of led you over there. You know, our our first and foremost, the most important thing to us is to make sure that it's a KPI quality and performance driven release that we do. Um, so the most important thing is to work with the early partners that we talked about and ensure that we iron out the most important issues. We ensure that we release a high quality public preview to you or. Uh, so that when you pick it up, it's it's something that you would be super proud to show to your customers and your friends and families too. Uh, in terms of a timing, I promised you that there is no big new news here, but still, my my goal is to land a public preview in the um, in the second half of calendar year 2021. You are actually forcing me to say something, uh, but that is that is what we are working towards. Yeah, I'm not going to force too much on that one. We understand that we need to have quality in there, especially as the customers are ready to go uh, with their solutions. So, Simon, thanks a lot for your time today. I wish we could would have more time to, to discuss even further Microsoft Mesh. Uh, unfortunately, we are at time. Uh, thanks, Simon, once again for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Nice. So if you'd like to get started and join our Mixed Reality Developer Program, you can check it out at aka.ms slash I want MR. Pretty straightforward, right?